Hi and welcome back to NA Turbo. Um, first, you might see lots of little sort of uh, flies around old Hannibal. Uh, we had a humongous uh, rain and thunderstorm here last night and it seems to have brought these little beetles down, which strangely only seem attracted to the white things and white cars. Um, they're not on uh, Rado the Corrado or the Tomcat or in fact the Jag. So um, yeah, if you see those floating around as I'm doing the video, that's just why. Um, so I just wanted to uh, bring you in because uh, recently I've tried to track down some more history on Hold Hannibal because, as I mentioned in previous videos, we actually found him abandoned um, ten or so years ago. So for a long while now, this plate's actually been on the back of uh, Hannibal, which um, says MJA Car Sales. Now, doing some research, uh, MJA actually still exists. Uh, they're a used car um, outfit that have got about three branches uh, two or three branches and uh, so I actually contacted one of the directors Mike who was um, absolutely brilliant actually um, although they didn't manage to have any information on when they would have sold Hannibal back in the day they did um, very kindly offer to supply me some new plates for Hannibal so he looks as if he would have back when he was about three years old or so. So, um, yeah, just a big thanks and shout out to Mike at MJA Car Sales. And uh, they are still very much a, a going concern. And, uh, you know, just from what I've experienced, uh, sort of emailing out of random and uh, Mike very kindly offering me to uh, do and send these number plates to me for free, I would definitely check them out because um, their customer service is just absolutely fantastic. Um, so, yeah, I've now got brand new shiny plates on Hannibal, so we'll pan down, and there you go, there's his rear. Uh, it will take you around the front as well. Um, so, I actually had these on uh, a little while ago and took them up to the Hubnut Social Inn uh, at the Motorist in Leeds, which was fantastic. Um, he did get a uh, shout out by uh, Ian at Hubnut, so uh, I was extremely pleased with that. And uh, uh, it was a great day, actually. Really nice, friendly people. Um, I can definitely say, you know, if you are into sort of uh, strange and weird and just cars in general, do check out um, Hubnut on YouTube and yeah, attend um, his socials because it's the, just a gathering of really friendly people that love cars and I stayed for sort of two or three hours more, in fact, just chatting to people um, from all different walks of life about different cars, so I can definitely say it was absolutely fantastic um, and definitely worth going, so big thanks to Ian and my subnut for that. So, yeah, I just wanted to show these off on uh, Hannibal. Now he's all spiffing and sparkling. Um, the 300 odd mile round trip to Leeds was absolutely amazing. He drove as if he was a new car. He um, was the oldest car on the M1 for both trips. Uh, got a lot of looks going up the motorway, um, even to uh, a young lad in his dad's sort of brand new BMW who was looking and staring at him. So uh, I was a very proud car dad for that. Um, but yeah, absolutely amazing. He drove like a new car, um, checked the fluids, stopped and gave him a uh, rest at various points because the traffic on the M1 when I went up on Friday the 13th was absolutely uh, atrocious. Um, he went through all that absolutely fine. Didn't use a drop of water, so very happy. Um, we'll have some more updates on Hannibal a bit later coming because um, I finally started tracking down some of the, the panels. We need to fix my... Uh, bodgers if i take you around so uh yes my arch repairs and bodgers that are just about hanging on um i've started sourcing actual real metal to finish those off so uh do join us for that later on but again thanks for watching take care and uh, see you all soon